One of the coolest things about South by Southwest is the cutting edge technology, something we saw this week, a new way to do theater. We watched as an actor perform Shakespeare on stage using a handy portable version of motion capture. Here at South by Southwest 2022 with Andrew Chitty with Audience of the Future. How are you doing, sir? Doing very well. Having a great South by. It's great to be back in Austin. Yeah, definitely. Where are we today? This is UK House, and what are y'all doing here? So, uh, UK House is the centre of the UK's creative activity at South by. It's kind of like our home away from home. And what we're doing here today is Audience of the Future Live, which is bringing together a series of uh, projects that we've been doing while we've all been locked down and not able to show people um, all around how the creative industries, so whether it's film, whether it's TV, whether it's theatre, can use immersive technologies to change the way we make things and change the things we can bring to audiences. Yeah. I assume immersive technology includes virtual reality, which is some of what y'all are doing here. Yep, VR, AR, haptics, and generally every now and then XR, any of the R's, that's us. Yeah. Yeah. What's some of the technology y'all are showing off here this week? So a lot of the things that we're bringing to South by this week uh, are the way that VR and AR have changed the way we make things, not just the way we consume. So we think of VR as, you know, you put on a headset and it's a game and you're in a virtual world. But actually, over the pandemic, what's really happened is the way these technologies have come together for a different way of filmmaking, a different way of making theatre. So now film is made in big LED volumes, you do live special effects. So you're actually going back, actually film is weirdly becoming more like theatre, and theatre is becoming more like film because you create it with these technologies and then you show it to people everywhere in the world, not just in a theatre. So that's the really exciting thing, and it's just accelerated enormously while we've all been locked away trying to find imaginative things to do. That's true. While, while there's been no South by the past two yeah, years, yeah. Yeah. we've just gone leaps and bounds. Yeah, so it's a huge leap forward, we think, in, in the kind of the way people use things. Uh, and it's fundamentally changing, it's changing the relationship, say, with, between the UK and the USA in terms of production. So in terms of these new production studios, we've always been good at the craft, we've always been good at the actors, you know, you see that with the Oscars coming up, the BAFTAs, you know, earlier in the week. Um, but what we're now trying to do is grasp how you use these new technologies and so now, at the moment, uh, Disney has more of these new, what we call virtual production stages in and around London than it does around LA, um, which is a big change, but the technology is primarily still made in the USA. Yeah. What are we on the edge of here? Where do you see technology taking us as far as movies and, and music, TV in 20 years? So, uh, well, 20, 20 years is always... Too far. Predicting the future is always a mug's game, isn't it? But I think we can see where it's going for the next five and then maybe where it's going after that. So I think that, as I say, the way we make things will change, but that will allow us to make different things. So rather than just thinking of a linear movie, actually what everybody's now creating is a world in which the linear movie is like one window on so audiences, fans, they'll be able to experience that world in lots, lots of different ways. You know, this is the metaverse, as, uh, as everybody's come to talk about it. So the movie becomes a window, but the world you've created, whether it's a set or a set of characters or avatars or whatever, that can live on in loads of different ways. So I think we'll see music, uh, music and film and live performance all create worlds rather than individual experiences. So I think that's going to be the big change. And then further down the line, I think the other big change we've seen in technology is the way AI is going to help us, help the creatives make those things. And maybe by, by making it easier and quicker and providing that help, also make, enable more people to be part of that creative process. So it won't be just the big studios who can afford this new tech, it will be the rest of us as well. Andrew, thank you so much. Where do people learn more about Audience of the Future? Um, for Audience of the Future, we have, a, we have a website, particularly what we've been doing in South by, uh, of audienceofthefuturelive.com. Um, and go there and have a look at it, see some of the incredibly exciting companies, uh, incredibly exciting projects as well. Uh, and look out for the doorway from the virtual world to the real world that we brought to South by as well. It's exciting. Andrew, thank you so much. We appreciate it. Thank you.